Thank you so much. How the heck are you, Chicago? I think that's someone that tried to date me in high school. It's too late, sister. I still love you. I'm so grateful, so humbled by the energy that is in this room. I mean, you are like the inspiration of the world tonight, Chicago. But I'm so grateful that our dear brother Bernie Sanders came all the way to the city of Chicago. <laughs> and the people of Chicago know that our campaign is called fire, and we are about to take that burn and that fire all the way to the fifth floor. <laughs> the people of Chicago have made it perfectly clear that a better, stronger, safer Chicago is just moments away. So let's just talk about for a minute how we got here. And so whether you came from Salish, Mississippi, like my family, or Central or South America, or anywhere on the globe, you came to the city of Chicago to find refuge. hopes and dreams of our ancestors. You came to the city of Chicago because this is the place that have brought black, brown, white, Asian, young, old, no matter where you are, you deserve a city that welcomes you and embraces you. that there are literally rooms that have been filled all over the city of Chicago counting on this day. But here's the good news though. I am so grateful that we serve a God that is at the beginning and the end. And that we didn't get here by happenstance. It is not coincidence that we are in this gathering today. We got here by our faith. We have come this far by our faith, and we are leaning on one another. Now, there are some forces, however, that are intimidated by this room. I mean, they're so intimidated that they have thrown everything imaginable at this brother here. They are so intimidated by the interests of working people that they have tried to divide the very movement that made this day possible. They have tried to make us feel bad because we believe in collective bargaining and unionism. Let me make this perfectly clear. The last I checked, Chicago is a union town. Humanitarians to walk the planet Earth 
Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. He said that the enemy of labor is the enemy of the Negro. Those are his words. Because Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. understood something, that black liberation sets us all free.